welcome back so today we're looking at two of my Creightons we're looking at my original Creighton which was the first one ever out and we're looking at the 1.5 which was never announced um, these were basically changes that Arma made based off the original that was having issues so I've been asked a lot over this last weekend Earl are you gonna buy the new AXB roller it's so cool they've made a bunch of changes it's the strongest RC ever Arma's killing it well I mean, I've got two, so these were both ready to runs, and uh, I wasn't very happy with them. So when I wasn't happy with the first one, literally a month and a half, two months later, I went ahead and got the 1.5. Because, well, this ain't even the 1.5. This is my original crate, and the bodies are backwards. So, I'll show you what's going on. So, this one's my original Creighton. And this one is my 1.5. So, my original Creighton, I went ahead and uh, tried to make it an RC that... I can go out bash, bash hard, and not have any issues with. So, bought M2C Racing, bought M2C Racing uh, shock shafts, bought the M2C Racing uh, servo saver mount deal to get rid of. Let's zoom in here. Right in here, bought this little piece to get rid of this braking. And then right in here, off the motor mount, for the front brace, went ahead and got this piece, M2C Racing. And I did all that because Deontay said that's going to make it uh, bulletproof. It really has as far as the chassis itself. Now, I never bent the original chassis, um, but people were, so I took the precautions. Put a Coke can motor in it, put, a, put a, the new system at the time, which was a combination, the Mamba Monster X8S, and the 800 kV 2028 Coke can motor with the castle fans. So went ahead and did that. Had a motor, motor failure. The original ESC that was in this, it shorted out due to the fan being installed. The blades were touching the wires until it finally shorted out and burned out the ESC. Still waiting on warranty for that been months now kind of like my exp diff um so after doing all this it uh i still have more fun with the outcast 8s and i still have more fun with my x max so as far as this being x max killer it's not recently took it out broke the wing mount so deserved landed on the back it's just a, such a heavy RC that things like that happen. So, after doing all that, and all these upgrades and all that stuff, um, it's still not as fun as a stock Outcast 8S, in my opinion. I have way more fun with my Outcast. So, ran out before I did all that M2C stuff and picked up and most don't know this is the updated one with the brace in the back it has the two piece upper which these are changes that they made because of chassis bending this upper brace bending this mount is different and then it came with a better remote control and that kind of stuff now this one went out and ran it it's still for me a disappointment stock 
Uh, a lot of people are like, well, you've got to change the pinion. you got to put 20 mil in the center diff. Or this one might even come with 20 mil in the center diff. I, I don't remember. I know they did make that change eventually. I think it was on the Outcast 8S, though. But I've left this one stock. And uh, I've basically been using it as a parts rig. Anytime my other one breaks, I steal the parts off this one. And then I order up the parts and uh, get it going. I went out and bought another part for it to try to get some more speed out of this thing. I'm already maxed out on my pinion, which I think is a 45 or a 44 pinion. And I can't go anymore because the coke can motor is already touching the side and by the way this coke can motor this is a censored system this this one has failed as well I've now had two coke can motors fail on the sensor um, in the back of the motor so I recently found this part spur gear ARA 311051 39 tooth we're going to go ahead, get this thing shoved in there, get this motor away from the edge, and uh, maybe I can go up on the pinion a little more. Hoping to get some more speed out of this thing. Um, my Cocan motor runs on the warmer side, not running hot, but with the added weight to this thing, um, I'm just not getting the speed out of it that I was expecting doing this setup. So we're going to give this a shot and see if it's better. I'm going to get the wing mount repaired on this one. But with all that said, I already have two. One fully built option, which is, you know, my monster Creighton. And then a factory Creighton. So for me, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to buy the EXB version. I don't need another one. I don't need another one with this. It's basically the same platform. And that's what Arma's been doing with their drops lately is making these rollers. And, uh, and you end up spending more than buying a ready to run. And as strong as I've made this one, which I think is stronger than the EXB version, um, it's not going to change the way I feel about this RC. Now, if they would have did an EXB version of the Outcast 8S, I probably would have bought that. Honestly, um, I like the Outcast that much. Um, and being a little over two inches shorter, I don't know what makes it that much better. It just is um, versus the Creighton. My 6S Creighton EXB roller, I've you know, had all kinds of diff issues and stuff with that one. And it truly has been a disappointment to me. Um, and I know I could, you know, build it and make it bulletproof. But the whole purpose of me buying EXB roller is so that I don't have to do any upgrades to it. I figured all the upgrades and all the complaining we already did is solved. Um, but that's just not the case. So, with all that said, just a little update. If you guys don't know, now you know that I own two. I own two Creightons. So, for me, really trying to like this platform and, uh, and make the ultimate basher, I truly put in all the time and effort to try to love this platform. I don't hate it. It's not my worst RC ever. Um, it's just not something I would buy again, is what I should say. But we're going to continue on with these two. Um, well, probably just this one. I'm going to continue on with trying to make this the ultimate Creighton 8S that I possibly can. And I'll keep doing upgrades to this as far as that one. Once I get this one dialed in, that one will be going away. Um... And if I can't sell it, then it'll sit on the shelf and uh, and just be a parts rig. Anytime I break this, I basically have everything I need 
to repair this to keep bashing this so there we go guys just a little update on my crate and 8s's um i will be popping in this gear and uh we'll go out do a speed rip with this thing again and then get this thing bashing um i will be stealing the wing mounts off of that to repair this for now and then i do have them ordered up for that i do have a bunch of parts coming this week to finish up uh the drag build um i did order the body you guys are going to find out real soon what all the volts won and uh what we're going to do next thing will be with that is to uh figure out a color choice so stay tuned for that video but let's go ahead i'm going to get this gear installed thanks for watching like comment subscribe we will see you guys on my next video